crocodiles in the creek? Yeah. See that? That was a crocodile right there. That was a crocodile. That was a crocodile. We're here in Durban, this is our first morning. The wind's flying offshore and there's a swell filling in. We're gonna hop in our epic vehicle and go search the coastline for waves. If we can't find waves, there's the freaking craziest sardine run ever going on. We've been seeing footage of sharks chasing fish onto the beach. So, it's gonna be a fun day, eat away. Look at those lines! Looks like it's like solid swell. Perfectly offshore. Five feet maybe? Are we gonna see the inside of tubes? Look at that! Oh, solid oh. line. Oh yeah, look at this double up. So like you take off oh. behind the rocks. Oh, oh! It looks, it looks like snapper. See, there's a bunch of people fishing. Millions of sardines are just outside the surf line, and it creates this crazy feeding frenzy. Just the whole ocean ecosystem is so alive. Medium fish eating the sardines. Bigger fish eating the medium fish. Sharks. Orcas, boom, dolphins, the like Coachella of the ocean going on out here. Us uh, surfers, you know, you can't really keep us out of the water if the waves are good. Oh, I'm psyching. We're gonna get tubes today. of nature this way of the, the sand just wasn't really happening packing up the car freak out mode level 10 freak out and we're gonna go try to catch another wave it will probably show up and it'll be windy but it is a risk that I'm willing to take that is the indication that the wind is still pumping offshore we are in psycho mode over here doubting you but it definitely didn't look like you were coming out of that one <laughs> I found a balloon floating and I was like I might as well surf with it why I thought it was a bird following you <laughs> look at that bird trying to get caught <laughs> I got one nice tube I was stoked on it it was a full it was a real wave you know like some power out there We're at Mark Botha's house here in Durban and he's showing us the South African way to ice bath and sauna. Look at this. They made like little hose holes. This is just a conventional freezer. Boom! So icy. They even put padding in it. You know when you see a psycho and they have their bike in their sauna. It's their skeleton base secret. That's how they run up the point. We've been going non-stop on this trip. Surfing, brainstorming, traveling, 
personally feeling a little beat up in my body. This is the perfect way to get back on the program, ease the mind, and get ready for these upcoming swells. So we're gonna do a couple rounds, probably do three to four rounds. Melt the body, calm the mind. Sauna time. We woke up this morning not even expecting to see good waves and opened up the curtains, whoo, flying offshore, clean lines coming in. So we're driving up the north coast, check some new sandbars, see what we can get into. Any crocodiles in the creek? Yeah. See that? Crocodile. That was a crocodile. Right there. That was a crocodile. That was a crocodile. I've never seen one before. That was a crocodile right there. We just drove past a river and there's a freaking crocodile just sunbathing. Taking off, we got the crocodile cam. I see a freaking crocodile right here. What if he just eats one of these birds? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> How sick are drones? Just throw them in the air and just spy on crocodiles. That's like why I wanted to come here because this place is so wild. Like you have no idea what you're gonna see. You're just living in a house, you're all chill. Oh, there's a spider. No, you're just driving and you forget that there's wild animals trying to survive and eat around here. There's snakes and crocs and sharks. This place is so wild. Water is really warm. It feels like a kind of chilly day in Hawaii. Really cool to surf here in Durban. There's a huge group of people and it looks like they're pulling in massive amounts of sardines. Sometimes there's sharks and stuff that follows it in. Come on, let's go check it out. We've heard so much about the sardine run. We've seen them all around. It's cool to finally see them bring it in and how they do that. They just harness it all and drag it to the beach. It's cool to see a lot of local families coming down and just filling whatever they can. They're also going to be eating really good. So crazy. Look at how many fish there. We're at Mi Acai, Shane Sykes' his little superfood cafe. Acai bowl, almond bullet coffee. This is the real deal. It's so good. Five minutes later. We have so much energy and we need to go find sand where it's shallower than the reef where the waves can then peel perfectly and create fun, speedy wave sliding vehicles. There's a huge squad of dolphins slicing through the lineup right now. Oh, we're gonna intercept them. <laughs> Dude, they're riding right the impact zone. Some serious dolphin activity going on. Mental little ripple about head high. I got my little five, six mini ghost. Oh, it's gonna be fun. There's no one around. Kind of scary, but Schmike will be in the water with me.
like Durban? It's warm, snowing around. I feel like if this were California, there'd be a hundred guys out. Oh, uh, it was really fun. Me and Schmeich lined up on a couple. Oh man, it was pretty crazy. I was, I was out there kind of out the back and it was during a lull. And I felt something grab me that sucked underwater. And I look at my back. Giant oh. octopus. No. See those tentacles? I actually believe you for something. And I like, I was like, what are you doing? I'm just chilling, I'm trying to surf. And he's like, oh God, sorry bro. Touch me somewhere else. <laughs> Durban is wild and beautiful. We met so many legendary characters that took us in and showed us their homeland. Three days after we left, all hell broke loose. Riots and looting spread through the city, leaving over 300 dead and so many people without their homes or businesses. My local buddy has sent me a couple trusted GoFundMe pages. If you have a moment, please go check them out. I'll leave the links in the description below. Anything helps. Thank you guys.